Jocelyn Asper from the Investing News Network. Joining me today at VRIC is Peter Spina, President and CEO of Goldseek. Thank you for joining me today, Peter. Thank you. Now that we're a month, about a month into 2017, has gold performed as you expected? Um, yeah, we had a real big sell-off since the elections in the United States, and it got highly oversold. And it was really one of the most oversold in the over short-term period that we've seen in a while. So it's uh, good to see it not coming off these lows, and I think we'll continue to see the price move into the next month's higher. Great. Comments made alluding to the Federal Reserve that will that raise interest rates about three times this year. What should investors? Uh, what, sorry, what should gold investors do? Well, it's a big question whether that will actually happen three times. I think we'll get a couple rate increases. I don't think it'll have a big effect for gold investors. I think it's mostly been priced into the markets. The dollar has really rallied in the last months, and I don't think with uh, you know Trump has said that he doesn't want a strong dollar. And really helpful with all the deaths out there. So I think we're kind of seeing the top of the, the dollar rally. Right. Um, it could keep the dollar still firm, though. I don't think we'll see the dollar drop immediately right now. Right. I think it'll stay up there, but I don't think it's going to go up too much higher. So I think gold is really mostly priced in the strong dollar. Right. Okay. In that regard, what advice do you have for gold investors during times of uncertainty? Well, I think for gold investors, they've gone through a very difficult four or five years of uncertainty, right. this downturn. And uh, what I said last year and continues through this year, this is a time to be a buyer, to be accumulating positions. The opportunity in this market, we haven't seen this in a long time. So the, uh, the, the gold price is looking pretty stable right now, and the gold stocks have really come down relative to the gold price in the last five years. So this is a great time to be a buyer. Awesome. Uh, so last year, Brexit had huge implications on the gold price, and it soared well above 1300 an ounce. What reasons are there to be optimistic about the gold price this year? Well, you know, Trump is bringing a whole different ballgame to uh, the whole the entire world. We're going to see uh, potentially trade wars, but protectionism coming, tariffs. So there's going to be all sorts of uncertainty related to that. Right. Um, there's a whole new populism movement. So in Europe, you have Italy, you have Germany having elections this year. Trump, is, right. it yeah. might be feeling that. The euro politically looks very uncertain. And in, in the EU, the euro uh, doesn't look very uh, positive for this year. So right. okay. uh, these are some big issues. And then I think Brexit was just kind of uh, the opening to, to this new movement, to this new uh, trend. No, that makes sense. Uh, finally, are there, are there any gold stocks that you're watching this year? Yeah, I, I'm really interested in the junior side of, of the gold and silver sector. Um, I have uh, several companies that I've been investing in from gold source mines, uh, Silvercrest, uh, gold mining uh, up here and, and out of Vancouver. Um, there's a new company, Northern Veritex. It's a starting up production this year in Arizona. Yeah. It looks quite interesting. So I continue to look for new opportunities and I've been accumulating a lot of the, the, the known names as well, like the Endeavor, right. Silver's first uh, Majestics as well. And I think those will do quite well for companies. But if you really want leverage, the junior stocks is where you're going to get that that upside, real Perfect. big upside. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. I'm Jocelyn Aspen with the Investing News Network.